Hello there and welcome to this edition of the Daily 10, your source for entertaining news, celebrities and latest trends. I am your host PNK. Kate actress's hubby Phil Karanja has cautioned upcoming artist of Korns asking for payment to audition for roles in his company's TV programs. The ex thespian who is now film director shared a statement on Instagram to warn new talent of the impending danger. He made it clear that audition announcements were made specifically through their official communication channels and did not charge actors in any way to appear for auditions. The video director advised actors to be careful of corn artists who are out there making money through fraud. From the band that brought us the biggest hits of our time comes a brand new show about the work that goes behind the making of the music. Soul Family, a new reality TV show premiered on a popular TV station on Sunday, August 2nd, 2020. The show takes viewers to behind the scenes journey of Soul Generation hit making machine. The 13 part series will give viewers a front row seat to the lives of the band and work that goes behind the production of music that fans have enjoyed over the years. Fast rising comedian Rasta Sotieno, popularly known to many as Flaco Raz, has disclosed how his ex girlfriend dumped him because he was not financially stable. Speaking to Carolina Hot Edition, the Instagram comedian said that by the time this was happening, he just completed his campus education. Flaco narrated how his then girlfriend said she was tired of his upcoming comedian status at the time. According to the funny man, the whole experience was embarrassing, but two months after breakup, he became famous and life was never the same again. TV presenter Jamal Gaddafi has been crowned the most stylish male media personality in the just concluded East African Fashion Awards. An excited Gaddafi shared the good news via his Instagram page saying he is happy to have emerged top in his category. The gala for the 2020 East African Fashion Awards went down in Kampala, Uganda. The news attracted a sweet congratulatory message from one Tanasha Donna who of late has become a close friend. The East African Fashion Awards is meant to recognize and celebrate the most outstanding achievements of the stakeholders, icons and individuals across the East African region. It's all over for Paris Jackson and Gabriel Glenn. Michael Jackson's 22-year-old daughter breaks up with her boyfriend after two years of dating. The couple, who performed together as a folk music duo, that is the Sunflowers, most recently allowed cameras into their relationship for a Facebook watch series unfiltered Paris Jackson and Gabriel Glenn. In the finale episode which aired on Tuesday, August 4th, Paris said that she and Gabriel are constantly butting heads. A source says their relationship has been on and off for a while now. Cameron Diaz's decision to retire at also seemingly the height of her career was met with skepticism at the time, but it's now clear that it was the best move for the Hollywood starlet. As she explained to Gwyneth Paltrow for the latest episode in Group Hell The Sessions, Cameron's devotion to her career meant that she never made any space for her personal life. Moreover, the Charlie's Angel star said that her life was straight up a spotlight that was draining, something that Gwyneth said she could understand. But Cameron said that when she turned 40, she decided to find herself and become self-sufficient again, especially since she had been kept for so much in her career. Daisy Coleman, who appeared in the 2016 Netflix documentary Audrey and Daisy, has died. She was 23. Her mother Melinda said she died by suicide on Tuesday night, noting that her body was found after the concerned mother requested police to do a welfare check. Audrey and Daisy explores the fallout surrounding the two different rape cases involving underage girls. Daisy was allegedly raped at a Missouri house party in 2012 after being given alcohol. At that time, she was only 14 and no one was convicted. Her mother told TMZ she never recovered from what those boys did to her, and it's just not fair now that her baby girl is gone. Media personality Lillian Mooley shared beautiful photos on social media that was taken during one of her morning runs. Singer Akwaza was very impressed and commented ish on the photo with a few love emoticons. She gushed over the beauty which showed how much she admired the news anchor. Mooley replied to Akwaza praising her for being her motivation to work out for the perfect body. The Roland hitmaker is known for sharing workout videos in which her and her daughters take part in grueling exercises. Self-proclaimed president of single mothers Esther Akov aka Akove has disclosed that she will embark on charity as a retirement plan when she clocks 45 years. According to Madame Boss, she's dedicating the next five years to build her empire and ensure everything is in place before shifting her focus to her organization Akove Foundation. The No Filter hitmaker pointed out that she had put Akove Foundation on hold after realizing that some people were just enriching themselves through her foundation. And with that, we come to the end of this edition of The Daily 10. Kindly follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We're looking forward to your feedback. Make sure to catch me every Monday to Friday from 6.50pm to 7pm. From me, PNK, here at The Daily 10, it's goodbye.